Hello movie fans, welcome to the show. I'm Ruby J, your resident Viking, and today we're talking about how to train your dragon. Come to me my dragon! I really need to get a dragon. The characters in How to Train Your Dragon are awesome! But those characters went through a ton of changes before becoming the heroes we know and love. This is what they got right with the How to Train Your Dragon characters. Let's start off with the village of Burke's favorite genius, Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III. Early in development, Hiccup was only going to be seven years old. Seven-year-old Hiccup could have trained a dragon. He just needs some training wheels. Thank Thor they decided to make him a teenage trainer instead. Now he's old enough to actually get his flyer's license. Next up, we have Hiccup's fearless dragon, Toothless. Everyone who has watched the movies knows that Toothless is a Black Knight Fury, the rarest and most awesomest of all the dragons. But early plans had Toothless actually being green and red. Hmm, a Christmas-themed Toothless? Santa Claus would love him! Also, Toothless was going to be much, 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 much smaller. Oh, he looks like a parrot! Toothless want a fishy? Toothless want a fishy? Oh, good Toothless. Hmm, maybe parrot wasn't the right way to go. But the artist did make Toothless more like another animal. The How to Train Your Dragon creators added panther characteristics to Toothless to create a creature that's equal parts adorably relatable and totally unique. So Toothless is partially based on a cat? <laughs> no wonder I want to cuddle him so much. Mwah. Or at least give him a ball of yarn. Early on, Fishlegs wasn't the gentle giant from the film. Originally, he was going to be scrawnier than Hiccup and have glasses. Glasses in Viking times? Yikes, who would have been his eye doctor? Gobber? A lot of these early character ideas came from the original How to Train Your Dragon book series. But one character that is not based on the books is Astrid. In the movies, Astrid is cool, resourceful, and really smart. But in the books, she was none of those things because she didn't exist. That's right, Astrid was made specifically for the movies. It's okay, Astrid, even though you weren't in the book, now you can be in the book of the official movie adaptation instead. Whether you're a full-on dragon rider or a kid hiccup, the How to Train Your Dragon series is great. And through the hard work of their creators, these characters really caught fire. <laughs> Thank you for watching What They Got Right. Make sure to subscribe to DreamWorks TV, leave a like and a comment telling me what I should talk about next. See you later. Ah!